Well, in the, in the interest of time, we're going to go ahead and begin. Uh, Dr. Harrington, they, once you get set, are you going to join us down here somewhere? Well, I'm going to stay right here. You're going, okay, all right, good, good. Well, we want to say again, happy 4th of July to all of you. Uh, we have just concluded the services at the Tuskegee University grave site of Booker T. Washington. We're now here at the grave site of Lewis Adams, the founder of Tuskegee Normal Institute or School. Uh, we are all assembled here, and before we uh, get started into the regular program, we're going to change it around some and let Sequoia Ellis from the National Park Service, and let's give the Park Service a round of applause. They've done an outstanding job. We want to thank them for coordinating all of this. But Sequoia Ellis from the Park Service is going to lead us in the Negro National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the heart Dr. K.G. Jones, pastor of the Bethel Missionary Baptist Church, to lead us in, the, in a word of prayer. And also remember, he served with the Park Service for many, many distinguished years. Pastor Jones. Let us pray. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, thou who has kept us safe thus far along the way, Guide us, Lord, by thy might into your marvelous light. Keep us forever in the path, we pray. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to pause and reflect and thank you for this visionary, this man named Louis Adams. This man who had the audacity to dream an impossible dream. This man who had the tenacity to work to see that dream come to pass. And we thank you, Lord, for the legacy that he has left for us. Father, you have entrusted us with a great stewardship. Let us please never forget to honor those who have gone before us. Let us please never forget that to whom much is given, much is required. Let us please never forget that as we discharge this charge that you have given us, to raise up the next generation to remind them that you brought us from a mighty long way. We thank you for Lewis Adams. We thank you for his vision. We thank you for his stewardship. And we thank you, Lord, that he knew that with God all things are possible. Now, Lord, as we face these uncertain days, please lead us with a steady hand. 
looking back to remember, but pressing forward to the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, that we may be all that you have called us to be. Bless this family. Bless this extended family. Bless this legacy called Tuskegee University, that we may continue the work that was begun so many years ago. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our supplication. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Jones. Now for the greetings, we are honored to have Mr. Patrick Wallace. Mr. Patrick Wallace has done such a great job in developing our cable station and television station here in our city, carrying on the work of the Adams family. And I want the Adams family members to know how proud we are of Patrick. But today he's going to speak as a descendant of Lewis Adams. Let's welcome Patrick. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I'm really happy to see all of you all here today. And you know, we do this every year. And uh, thank God for Robin and her family. Uh, thank goodness for Marshall, we've been, been contacting. We're the new generation of the Booker T. Washington and Lewis Adams family. And before I get started, I'd like to point out, Letitia Adams is right here. And, the, and, and Letitia Adams graduated from Tuskegee, and she was a daughter of Lewis Adams also. And her family, uh, Tyree Davis and Barbara Davis are hosting the Lewis Adams family right now in Las Vegas. Mm. They're going to see this video and they're going to see all of us and this is something to be proud of. The other person I want to point out, and this is how I always start my Lewis Adams story, is Virginia Adams is the first graduate of Tuskegee to receive a diploma from Booker T. Washington's hands. My Aunt Virginia is named after her. Lewis Adams was able to see the culmination of all of his work and everybody knows what happens but he was there to see his daughter graduate from the school that he and Booker T. Washington started. Now you know Booker T. February 1881 school was funded. June 1881 Booker T. Washington arrived in Tuskegee. July 4th 1881 the doors of the school opened and the next thing you know Virginia Adams is graduating. So we're very proud of the legacy. None of us will probably be here without Booker T. Washington and Lewis Adams' efforts. We all are here because of that. And we're carrying on this legacy, and we're, we'll be here next year to do this all over again. So I'd like to say hi to all the family in Las Vegas, and I'd like to thank everybody here, and we're gonna do this and continue this legacy. Marshall and I have been talking about this, and we're gonna keep this legacy going, and we'll see you guys next year, too. All right. All right. All right. Marshall, come around and um, let's say, give a greetings as well. It's good to see the two families together, standing yeah. together. Yeah. Go right here. Okay. We, uh, um, hello, everyone, again. Uh, Marshall Schuyler Cavendish III, great great grandson of Booker T. Washington. Appreciate everyone coming along this journey with us uh, through history. As Patrick mentioned, uh, he and I have been talking a lot. And, um, you know, of course, we do Founders Day. But, you know, this is, has a, its own special meaning because it, it just feels like it's more grassroots type of thing. Tuskegee Normal School started off um, as a community project. And so, therefore, we want to make sure that we always stay connected with that community. I'm the first generation that moved away, was born outside of Tuskegee. But I was here so many times growing up, you know, and, uh, and um, it's the place where my father was born. You know, so um, it's a, a very special place to me, and I want to make sure that you know I participate in the the community part of it, and so that's why this seems to be especially important, important to me. Wonderful, uh, Patrick. Introduce the members of the Adams family, okay. and I want you to introduce the members of the Washington family. Of course, absolutely. Okay, we've Butch. got Virginia Peterson, Miss um, Renee, mm -hmm. uh, cousin Michael Adams. Yes. Uh, cousin Rowena Hull. Who else? Is anybody else here? Yeah. Butch. That's us. Let's all come on around yes. and join us. Right. Marshall. Everybody your family around here. here. I have <laughs> my cousin Eric. <Aaron. laughs> <laughs> McDonald's. And this is her daughter walking with her brandy. Yeah. And this is her son. He is actually her brother. John. 
Now, to give the occasion, we have uh, Dr. Elaine Harrington, who is a member of the Historic Commission for the City of Tuskegee and serves in so many capacities across our city and county. And we are delighted to have her. Let's give her a hand. Dr. Harrington. Thank you very much, Mayor Ford, and to the distinguished Adams and Washington families. I am honored this morning to continue a commitment I made to Robin, that we would continue this tradition on July 4th. I've been asked to give a brief statement of the occasion. On today, July 4th, 2017, we pause here at the gravesite of Lewis Adams in moments of historical reflection and honor. Born in slavery in Macon County in, 19, in 1842, the early years of Lewis Adams were spent working and observing in his father's plantation service shop. You know, you can learn so much by studying history. It was here where he learned and mastered several traits. He and his wife, Sally Adams, were the parents of 16 children. And you've already met the descendants of the Adams family. Mr. Adams had a passion for the trades as he longed for and served as an apprentice to many young people in this vein he hoped for a vocational school to provide further training. In 1880, the culture of politics and education became a reality. Voters made a concerted and unified effort under the leadership of Adams to seat Colonel Wilbur F. Foster and Arthur L. Brooks again in the Alabama State House of Representatives the political deal proceeded. Let us, not, let us not underestimate that politics were relevant then and they are even more relevant today, side note. The Colonel appeared to Mr. Adams to get the dual Negro vote for Foster and Brooks with the promise to do everything possible to establish Lewis Adams' dream of a normal school. The wheels of political history turned, and the Negro voters contributed to the election of two incumbents in the state legislature. It was Lewis Adams who historically remembered, whom we historically remember, as the primary promoter and deliverer of the votes. On February 12, 1881, Representative Brooks successfully introduced the House Bill 165 to establish Tuskegee State Normal School, of course now Tuskegee University. It was signed by the governor. And on this date, July 4th, 1881, the school was officially open with 30 students. Thus, we are duty bound, ladies and gentlemen, to honor the cooperative and collaborative support of Lewis Adams, which continued on several levels. For an example, he served as an original commissioner on several levels at the uh, state and the, also he served as a board member of Tuskegee University the Institute then until his death. He secured Booker T. Washington as the first founding principle of Tuskegee. Let us not get the two mixed. Adams was the founder, but Booker T. Washington was the first principal. Thus today, on this 136th birthday anniversary, we continue to honor Lewis Adams, the historical founder of Tuskegee Normal School, an educational institution of higher learning, and duly recognize Reverend Lagarde as the pride of the swift going south. To you! Thank you very much.
quiet, where are you? Don't get lost. Now, Robin, where are you from the National Park Service? We want you to bring a word from the National Park Service. And this time we want you to recognize all of the members of the Park Service who are here. And let's not forget our own Ms. Sandy Taylor, who's a member of our Historic Commission. And Ms. Robinson, you come as well. Go ahead. Again, I bring you greetings from the National Park Service. And this program could not be complete without recognizing the staff here at Tuskegee Institute as well as Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site. So when I call your name, if you would please raise your hand so that you could be recognized. And I'll start up front with Sequoia Ellis. Vesta Marable. Yay. Brittany Webb Lane. I do apologize, we do have some new staff members with us, and so if I point to you, I'm going to let you introduce yourself, call your name out, so that uh, they'll be able to hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Carla Graves. And again, on behalf of Superintendent Taylor, who wanted to be here uh, this morning, but she was unable to come. but. We do want to uh, reach out and I want to do a very special um, recognition to Kevin Bell. Kevin, if you would please come up front, please. Every time we have a program, every time that uh, we need something done, every time, Kevin always jumps up and he'll say, I will do it. All right. And therefore, I want to introduce you to Kevin Bell, All right. our maintenance right. employee. Outstanding. Thank you. And we want to give a special tribute to Vesta Marable yes. because many yes. had counted you out, Vesta. But miracle. the Lord is able. The He's miracle, miracle man is back. Standing tall. Hometown hero. Yes. Yes. The park. He's grown up with the park service. So proud of him. Uh, we want to uh, thank Dr. Charlotte Marbury. Morris. Morris. Dr. Charlotte Morris who is the interim president at Tuskegee University for all the support that the university gives. And let's give the uh, patrolman, who the uh, police officer, who gave us that wonderful escort over. He did an outstanding job. We want him to know how much we appreciate him. Now, uh, Ms. Diane Robinson, who is the chairperson of the Historic Preservation Commission, for the city of Tuskegee, if you would bring greetings and recognize your members. Well, well thank you all for coming. Uh, the Tuskegee Historic Preservation Commission, this new one, is just about two years old. Uh, but we are working very hard to s lay a foundation for preserving our history in every aspect. And so this program is one of the things that we truly support. And we thank the Park Service and our member Ms. Sandy Taylor, superintendent, for taking the reins and making this happen. We appreciate you so much. I'd like to introduce um, some of our members who are here. Ms. Elaine Harrington, of course, is a member. Ms. Deborah Holston. Yes, she is. Ms. Marie Lyles. Yes. Uh, Lennard. Carver Lennard, who is not here, but who is a member. Uh, I think that's all that are here right now. Mia Johnny Ford is a member of our commission. But we invite you all to support us. If you're interested in doing historic research and working with us to do projects that will commemorate our history, please contact us. Uh, you can contact me, Diane Robinson, You can through the complex or at Tuskegee Repertory Theater. So, thank you. Let's thank give you. them another hand. Right. Yeah. All right. Marshall. Yeah. yeah um, I want to apologize to my cousin here, Brian, because I I said I introduced him this time around as Erica's son, but I, I believe I failed to say his name. I figured everybody know he's he lives here in Tuskegee, goes to school in Tuskegee. So, uh, but anyway, Brian. That's 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 his name. Right. Sorry, Brian. I want to. 
I want to thank all of you all for participating, and I want to thank you on behalf of the National Historic Black Towns and Settlements Alliance. I have the honor of chairing that organization, which encourages these type of programs to be held all over America, and indeed they are being held all over America on July 4th. Booker T. Washington, we all know him for all of his great work in education. We know him for his great work of building John A. Andrew Hospital in 1913, which led to the National Medical Association and all of that work. But we also know him because of the work he did in encouraging African Americans at that time to establish their own towns and communities and black settlements. And so Tuskegee Institute, Alabama, with his own post office, uh, was indeed established. And Lewis Adams and Booker T. Washington helped to start a black community within the community of Tuskegee, Alabama. And so uh, today we have more than a thousand communities all over America because of what Booker T. Washington did and what Lewis Adams did to not only start a school, but they started a town, a community, a settlement. And so I uh, chair that organization now, and on behalf of all of our uh, cities across the country, like Eatonville, where Booker T. Washington sent an, an emissary to Grambling, where he sent uh, Adams, uh, a member of the Adams family, to start Grambling University, Prairie View, uh, all of the Mound Bayou, Mississippi, and all of these towns. So again, greetings on behalf of the Historic Black Towns and Settlements Alliance and the World Conference of Mayors. Now, are you ready? Uh, that golden voice, where did she go? Can we place the wreath? Re are we prepared now for the wreath? Okay, Phi Beta Sigma or the Park Service will come for the placing of the wreath. All the Lewis Adams family is here. Adams, I will close with a word of prayer and uh, support you want to lead us and we shall overcome again as we get ready to, to leave. Just lead us in one verse and, uh, and we will hum it softly and Dr. Adams will close with prayer. Gather round. blessings that we're receiving right now and we're so bold enough to thank in advance for the ones that we're going to receive in the future you've been good to us lord someone has wildly stated you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves so again we say thank you and we ask now heavenly father that you will continue to bless us as we continue on this tedious journey we thank you for the lives of lewis adams and booker t washington for them having the vision to do things that will help our black people, not only our blacks, but whites as well. 
Now, Lord, as we get ready to separate from this place, but never from your holy presence, encamp your guardian angels all around us, protect us from the dangers seen and unseen. Bless us on our coming in, as well as our going out. These and other blessings we ask in thy son Jesus' name, that the redeemed say amen, 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 amen. amen. and amen. amen. Thank you all for coming. Thank, Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you.